Okay, can someone explain to us exactly what's going on? Property rented out by the Trump administration. They are confusing people pulling in, a lot of elderly people. They're, you know, getting into the way of traffic, and traffic is swerving out, almost hitting oncoming traffic. And this is private property at the moment. Been rented so out. this is owned by the Port Authority, this according to the police. Out. Right, so if I call the Port Authority, they will say that the rent that the Trump administration has rented this out or sorry, the Trump campaign has rented this out and that they don't have permission to be here. If I call them, that's what they're going to say. I'm asking because they're out here protesting and we're, you know, we're covering the event. This is what this has been rented out. They're causing confusion. They're getting in the way of oncoming traffic. It's a it's a pretty simple order. So the Trump administration is the one call the, the Trump campaign. They are the ones who want them to be removed. Correct. Is that fair to say? Well, this is private property. If they right. With people, it's taxpayer money. Right, but I haven't heard anything from, from the Port Authority. So is it the Trump campaign that's asking for them to be removed? So this is where the protesters are. Um, the Sheriff's Department here says that this property is owned by the Port Authority. Um, as you can see, we have a bunch of vans out here. We have people parked in here um, for the event that's supposed to happen today. Um, these are some people who are protesting the event. We were sitting in our car working on the story and I noticed that the Sheriff's Department has pulled up. They are now asking the protesters to leave, saying that it is private property. I asked who owned it. They said the Port Authority. Um, so I then asked, okay if the port authority owns it are they asking for them to leave and now we have a gentleman who i believe is a um, trump campaign member saying that it's private property and asking them to leave but he would not confirm to me whether or not it is the trump campaign that has called and asked them to leave so we're not really sure what's going on i know there are more protesters that are expected to come here at five o'clock um they were planning to be here as well. Right now it is mostly IBEW local eight workers along with some AFL-CIO people, some people with the Toledo Teachers Union. So I'm trying to get some clarification on what's happening. Obviously this is not like a ginormous crowd right now, um, but they are expecting a lot more people to show up here after work. So I'm essentially just trying to get some clarification on what's going on if these protesters are going to be allowed to stay here, and if not, where they'll be able to go. So right now it appears that the Sheriff's Department is speaking with the individual who appears to be working for the Trump campaign. While the protesters are still here, um, they have their setup going on. Um, so essentially we're trying to look at for clarification. If these protesters can't be here, where can they go? and um, why and who are asking them to leave the property. So the person I spoke to who appears to be working for the Trump campaign said that they have rented out this land. And again, I asked who, I'm gonna turn this around. So I asked who owned this land and they said the Port Authority. So then I asked if the Port Authority owns this land, are they the ones saying that the protesters are not allowed to be here or is it with the Trump campaign? And then they would not answer my question. So like I said, right now, we're trying to figure out if the protesters are going to be allowed to remain here, if not, where they will be allowed to go, and who is asking them to leave the property and why. So I'm hoping we can get those questions answered for you. Um, obviously, we have multiple crews covering, this or covering the protest as well as the campaign. We have people along the road who are waiting with the people who have been in line all day. This is just one angle of the story. 
and right now I'm going live because we're trying to get some clarification on the issue. So more protesters are showing up. The sheriff's department is also still here. And then we also have the people who are here who have been working here all day. Um, as Trump volunteers, they have their official name tags and they have been directing people toward parking. I'm gonna turn this around and you can see that everyone has been parking out here and a lot of them are people who are showing up for the Trump rally. You can even see some of the Trump flags and things like that. Um, down the road over here, we have people set up on this property with, you know, Trump flags that people can purchase, memorabilia, things like that. So I'm trying to get a sense of what is going on and why. I know that one of the reasons that the sheriff said was that they were um, getting in the roadway as protesters, which was a concern for safety. Um, but now it appears that both lanes of this road are blocked off with the sheriff's cars. So if you are planning on coming to this side of the Trump rally to park, um, it's going to be a little bit challenging. It looks like they're still accepting people down over here. Um, it looks like people can still get in that way and they have some buses here. Uh, I'm assuming to move people closer to the event. Um, so we're just trying to get some clarification on exactly what's going on, whether or not the protesters are going to be here, or if they're going to have to move. Because like I said, they have an event set up here and I know one of the groups that is going to be protesting it was supposed to set up here starting at 5 p.m. So obviously if they can't be here, um, then we're going to have to figure out where they're going. We'll keep you updated. Again, so I will be reporting on the protester angle today, um, but we have a lot of people. We have people who um, are speaking to people in line who have been waiting to see Trump all day. We have people who are going to the local restaurants to talk to people who might be trying to get a glimpse of the president. Um, we will have a pool camera in the event itself and we will be streaming the event live. This is just one angle of what's happening now. And we are hoping to just get some answers and see whether or not protesters will be available or protesters will be allowed to stay here. Um, they just pulled up another sheriff's vehicle uh, van. So I'm not really sure what's going on. I know I, I, met, I talked to one of the protesters earlier and their original location that they were going to go to was blocked off, I believe for security reasons for the event. I don't know if it was too close or what. Um, so that is a detail we're hoping to figure out. Um, maybe someone can clarify that for me. I'm sorry my breathing is, is bothering you. I have to breathe to continue talking and survive and it's windy and loud out. Uh, can I ask you, I spoke to you earlier today. So what is going, like, what have you been told is going on right now? Oh, well, we've, we've got, obviously, the Trump campaign's upset that we're out here. So there are people who call the court authorities over here. They're trying to get us to move, but we have the legal right to assemble here and the taxpayer on easement. They're saying that this is private property owned by the Port Authority. Now, you guys were supposed to originally go somewhere else earlier today to protest, correct? Uh, we, well, we had planned to do that, but we didn't. And was that place blocked off for the event? That was what was happening? Yeah. So you ended up here instead? Yes. So if they require you guys to move, are you planning to go to another location? Are you planning to continue your protest? What is what is the, uh, what are what are you attempting Looking to do? answers right now, I, I am very certain that we are correct and, and that we have this, the, the right to assemble here. Uh, we go through this many times with the police uh, when it comes to job site strikes and pickets. I mean, there's an easement that is taxpayer owned and that starts in the middle of the road and it goes past these poles so so you feel as though you are in the taxpayer owned easement so you guys don't want to have to move because you feel that you are not on private property you are on taxpayer owned property Correct. okay that's very helpful um i'm hoping to talk to someone from the campaign too to try and see what they're doing but i'm not seeing it appears he went somewhere else so this is what we're seeing right now Again, we've got some more sheriff's deputies here. It looks like an, one of them is moving. Oh, 
every day as a man. Yeah. At this point, it seems like intimidation. Well, the big thing is we don't want to be spying again. I can use your cost trouble. Okay. There's definitely some traffic um, backing up behind these sheriff's vehicles, um, but there are Trump supporters, I believe, who are parking, who are still able to come in this way. So we're trying to figure out exactly what's going to happen here. I just want to check in. What is the update? So you guys are good as long as you stay in the easement and off the roadway. Is that what's yeah. happening? Okay. I mean, so. Right. So it's a safety thing right now. You just want to make sure people are safe. Okay, perfect. All right, so as long as they stay on the easement, which is kind of like the first area over here, and they stay off the road because a lot of people are trying to drive through. I came in Central Avenue. Most easements are 8 to 10 feet. Okay. So they have eight to 10 feet of public land here where they can, yeah. uh, they have the right to assemble. Yeah. Thank you so much for clarifying that. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. The power poles? The power poles? Yeah. Okay. So as long as they stay forward, but not too far into the road, they're good. All right, great. And what's your name? Okay, and you're with the, the Sheriff's Department. Thank you so much for clarifying that. We really appreciate it. I know these events can get very heated, so we just wanted to make sure we know what's going on. Exactly. Okay. We have many crew, we have, we have four teams out there. Have a lovely day. Alrighty, well, it looks like everything has gotten clarified. Um, the protesters are going to be allowed to stay where they are as long as they stay within the public easement, which again is to the telephone poles. So uh, we will be having a live report here at 5 p.m. Um, and 6 p.m. And I will be following the protesters again through the night and through the event. Uh, like I was saying to this other person, we have multiple crews who are also following the Trump campaign. We have people by the lines. Uh, we are going to be streaming the event live. Um, we have people at local restaurants getting reactions. So you will be seeing the people who are Trump supporters as well as the people who are here protesting. And 5 p.m. is when another group is expected to join the protesters. And we will bring that to you live on WTOL. And we will have all of the live updates on our website. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And we will check in a little bit later.